Happy Pokemon Day, everybody. Today, we are going to be talking about the new, brand new, and announced Pokemon Legends ZA. Let me tell you something about this, dude. I am so excited, bro. I need to know, know in the comment section below, where, was anybody expecting a uh, Kalos game? I know I remember rumors and like, you know, all the leaks or whatever they were talking about. Pokemon Legends Johto or Pokemon Legends Unova or Pokemon Unova remakes or Pokemon uh, Johto remakes. But no, we're actually getting a Pokemon Legends Kalos game and it's only one game, which is kind of weird because I remember seeing all those like leakers and those rumor guys basically talk about being two games. So I'm not sure if like. You know that was anything but maybe they were talking about like the new tcg game that was announced in that same direct i'm not sure but i am excited for those who don't know if you're just not watching this hi my name is nick nicholas sacred almighty um i hope to see you around because we are going to be covering this game extensively for those who don't know i'm gonna give a quick backstory then we'll get into all the new stuff if that's fine by you guys listen i'm excited I'm, I, I have too much energy right now but listen i remember when legends rc has got shown off and or it was around the same time that bdsp got shown off and i was not a fan of those games at, at all i did not like those games how they looked you can go down the like rabbit hole and see that i was slandering legends rc and bdsp for a very very long time up until the games came out bsp was okay but when legends rcs came out i had got it two weeks early thanks to nintendo and i want you all to know i was able to actually showcase my entire playthrough over on the website which will be doing the exact same thing this year or next year rather so make sure you're signed up over on the sacred almighty website it will be paid exclusively though for anybody who wants to see it early but we will be making content over here well that, that's neither here nor there either way i played the game for two weeks before the game came out and i thoroughly loved it there was a time where i was gonna like quit pokemon if these two games are bad and guess what legends rcs was really good i had a really good time playing those games it was probably one of the most fun experiences i've had with pokemon in a while which by the way let me know in the comment section below do you prefer legends rcs gameplay or do you prefer scarlet and violet gameplay i mean it doesn't matter because we're getting we're getting a legends game you know what i'm saying anyway i want you all to know i i am very excited for this game because there's so many things that we can do with this game i literally you can go out of your way and go through all the callow stuff and find so much lore that has not been explored at all especially dating back to like when i don't know if anyone remembers this interview there was an interview a long time ago where um i think it was masuda he was talked about how like they wanted to do a pokemon z but there was too much going on at the time and obviously i think it was like the earthquake or something like that i don't remember like the exact quote itself but i'm pretty sure there was like multiple factors that led to pokemon z not happening and i remember being like damn Kalos would have been really good had we had another game. Those third games were always things that we needed to make these games feel complete. That was the cycle. And it was so interesting to see that we didn't get that. We went straight into Oris, and that was it. So now Sun and Moon passes. We get Ultra and Ultra Moon. We get Let's Go. We get Sword and Shield. We get the two DLCs for Sword and Shield. We get Pokemon uh, Legends Arceus and BDSP. And finally, we get Scarlet and Violet and then it's two DLCs. And now here we are with Pokemon Legends ZA. Now, I want everybody who says Pokemon Legends is not a main series Pokemon uh, series, I want you all to apologize to the rest of the community you people are wrong i've been saying you all are wrong for the last decade all the main team has been working on legends game if you go back and go to legends arceus the team that made legends arceus is the same team that worked on everything that we've been playing so far i'm excited who isn't excited for this are, are you serious now what i will say is i'm happy that it isn't a one and done game because now i think that legends arceus had a whole bunch of ideas that i feel like can be um can be worked on and can be uh improved and can be i guess a lot more elaborated since this is the only game that got announced i'm gonna assume that this game will have like wi-fi capabilities it's gonna have the uh the legends throwing mechanics and all the good stuff hopefully the alpha mons are back um i know a lot of people don't like the agile and the uh the strong style which makes sense i get it so maybe there might be another gimmick that comes out well no, no there, there's another gimmick we got mega evolutions we got Mega Evolutions, yeah! Let me know in the comment section below, what is a feature and or like a gameplay function in Legends Arceus that you all would like to see improved on or you would like to see introduced that you felt like should have been introduced in Legends Arceus? Let me know, let me know, let me know. But how do you all feel? Now, 
All right, we got to talk about some things. I've been seeing people talk about how they think that it's going to be a future game instead of a um, instead of like a, a Legends game, like an actual like past game, which is crazy because if you read like the little official website, it talks about like how a, a new adventure awaits within Lumio City where an urban redevelopment plan is underway to shape the city into a place that belongs to both people and Pokemon. And I'm like, huh, a re a urban redevelopment? So are they, are they redoing... Lumio City, or is it the leading up to the Lumio City that we had? Because if you really don't remember, Lumio City was the first Pokemon city that had like Pokemon roaming. It had like Pokemon like all in the air, all in the air. It literally had it like you could like ride your um. And I don't know if everybody remembers this, but there was like an art where you could like ride your GoGo in Lumio City. I'm not sure if you could do that in the main game. I'm not really sure if that was still there, but it was kind of cool to see that. So now I'm thinking to myself, okay, cool. All these legend, all these Pokemon are rideable. All these Pokemon are like, you know, it's so it's so cool that they're doing X and Y. Because if you remember X and Y, X and Y had a whole bunch of ideas that were like introduced in small segments. But now I feel like they can just go crazy with this, right? But I also think that it is going to be a, a past game because Kalos's past has a lot more content, such as AZ, AZ Floet, The War, uh, Magirna uh volcanion we can finally see volcanion and literally um all of south kalos hopefully you know we could possibly see uh zygarde in its rightful place because you know remember zygarde was just literally in a secret cave and didn't have any type of like relevance until the anime came out and then in sun and moon when um when we had to collect the things the little like uh the cells and now we can finally and hopefully get Zygarde's true purpose and or Zygarde's like, I guess, true habitat. See him in Terminus Cave and actual like, movement. Maybe like instead of like the, um, if I don't remember, remember the Spirit Tomb side quest in Legends Arceus, instead of the Spirit Tombs, they have the Zygarde cells. I'm so, I'm so, I'm so, I'm so, I'm, I'm just so in awe because we're also getting new mega evolutions. At the end of the trailer, they showed mega evolutions and I want you all to know, dude, wow. Wow, 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 dude. Are you serious? We're getting new mega evolutions. And I, now the thing about it is, are they going to be ancient mega evolutions before Sycamore kind of like found out how to like, you know, uh, I guess, I not even master. Sycamore was studying in mega evolutions, but he wasn't like a master at it. But are we going to see more ancient mega evolutions? Are we going to see futuristic mega evolutions or just new in general, right? Because if we're, if we're keeping the idea that it's a future game or a past game, you never know where this entire thing could take us because we might see Pokemon that were introduced later after Generation 6 get mega evolutions, which would be crazy as hell to see. But it would be kind of cool if like this is the true power. This is what happens if he's like, I don't know, let's say, let's say we got like a, like a, like a uh, I don't know, like a, 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 I don't know, like a Litten. And we get like a mega, mega incineroar. That'd be crazy as hell to see. I don't know, dude. Listen, I, I don't know where do we go from here. I am so excited. So I will be saying my little content plan. Any and all trailers will be reacted to. We'll also be doing a follow-up video talking about the content on the game. Now, unfortunately, there is no content on the game right now. All we have is the name, the logo, and then the simultaneous uh, release in 2025, which I'm going to assume it is going to be another January release because obviously this game, if we're not getting no games this year, then we're definitely going to get a game early next year in like January, February, maybe on Pokemon Day, who knows? And then I will probably get like the next... Um, the next uh pokemon announcement which will probably be i think we're still getting johto and i think we're still getting unova but i also think that we're going to be seeing um ties to other to unova in this game as well because if you remember back in the back long time ago they they he heavily heavily mentioned unova in the dlc for scarlet and violet and i don't think that's that's to be wasted i think that what they're going to do is they're going to sprinkle a lot of that pokemon you know twang into the game and have characters and or like a little like nods to unova and then eventually we'll get the unova remakes because yeah i think unova is so interesting because unova has two games now we could remake black and white we could remake black and white too but you're gonna have to since it's 2024 i don't think anybody's gonna like you know uh you can't justify buying two two remakes in the same year or two remakes back to back to back so it might just be one game one big game entirely or it's a third game like a trilogy game or it's another legends game or you never know you never know at this point because this is such a nobody was expecting this i i promise you 
people were saying, oh, we were getting another Ilka. We're getting an Ilka Johto, Ilka Black and White. We're getting a Legends Unova, Legends Johto. We're getting, um, it was those two regions. It was really just those two. Nobody in their mind thought that we were ever going to be getting a Legends Kalos. Now, that's not to say that Legends Kalos was not an idea. I remember back when Legends Arceus came out, Legends Celebi, Legends, uh, Legends Zygarde, and I remember Legends Kyrum were the names that people wanted to like, you know, talk about and have. But now we have Pokemon ZA, which is going to be interesting because if if it is ZA, when you switch this around, it's Pokemon AZ, right? So maybe we're going to be seeing AZ walk around the region. Maybe he's going to be more of a reoccurring character. Because a lot of people did not like him kind of just suddenly coming out of nowhere. And X and Y, maybe he's going to be a... um. I don't know. We it, it, at this point, it really just depends on whatever it is they want to do. I'm excited, dog. Hopefully, you guys are too. Let me know in the comment section below how you guys feel about this entire thing. I am excited, y'all. Oh my god, this is tough. I think this is. You know what? You know what? I said it first. And I said it again. I, I, I. This is my closing statement.